Sports with Pete Byrne. Last April, during their fourth straight trip to the Final Four, the Notre Dame women's basketball team took down Maryland before falling to UConn in the national championship. Eight months later, those same two teams, in that very same order, are up next for the Irish. WSBT 22's Carl Deffenbaugh has more now on an early December stretch that will feel more like late March. After Notre Dame feasted on an early season schedule filled mostly with cupcakes, this week brings a December double that feels more like March Madness. Back-to-back -back ranked opponents with Maryland on Wednesday and UConn coming to town on Saturday. Previous few games weren't really a challenge for us, but it was good to get in-game experience for the freshmen and just see how we mesh together as a team. But these next few games are really challenging and we're really looking forward to it. I love our team this year and, and we're just so fun. Our freshmen are, are fun and the different vibe that they bring is, is awesome to have and we're just excited to be uh, with each other and you know, doing well. The undefeated Irish lead the nation in scoring margin, blowing out opponents by more than 45 points per game so this week's slate against the Terps and Huskies should offer ND a new experience, executing under pressure in the closing minutes. How are we going to be um, if we get down in a game, uh, in a really close game, when we've got to execute on every possession? I think we've been fortunate right now to, uh, to have a, a little bit of a cushion at the end of the game, so we really haven't been able to work on any of our late game stuff yet, and we really need that to prepare ourselves for the ACC. And the quick turnaround is as much a mental test as anything else. With the Connecticut game coming up. Don't, don't want to talk about that one. How do you avoid the specter of two-time defending champ UConn with a top 15 Maryland squad up first. We're really focused on this Maryland game. It's a big rivalry for us, especially for Lindsey Allen, who's from Maryland. Uh, you know, we played him twice, played him in the Final Four. We had a big game at their place. So uh, I think this would have been a really great ACC rivalry. It's a shame that they left the league. An important lesson for a young team that expects to face a similar challenge in the 2015 Final Four. Carl Deffenbaugh, WSBT 22 Sports. Now my